Mike, another fairly eventful afternoon at home. How do you attempt to, to sum that up? Um, emotional, I feel. Uh, you know, the boys, the boys have just done that all season. Um, regardless of the outcome, you know, they, they've, they've given everything. They've left everything they've got on the pitch. Um, it's never with uh, a lack of effort or a word of trying. Um, they'll literally leave everything they've got um, to the last second. And it just showed the character, um, the desire, just to keep going. It was a really frustrating first half for us, not just the goals. Um, you know, two, two free goals, one unbelievable, one I think was a bit of a dodgy penalty, to be honest. Um, but yeah, the will um, to stick to, to the process and not allow that to, to get us down, which is, is phenomenal. You saw the scenes at the end, the fans were brilliant as well. It was, it was a really good day. Yeah, you mentioned the first half, they obviously going in a couple, of, a couple of goals down. I mean, how difficult is it for you as a, as a manager, I suppose, to try and keep lads from, from getting frustrated when, like you say, it kind of feels like things are perhaps going against you a bit? Not difficult at all with this group, um, not, not at all. It, it wasn't, um, for me, it was just about talking through the things. There was, you know, there was no harsh words said. It was just a case of um, we can't allow our frustration to get the better of us and we've got to find solutions. And there's a couple of little tweaks, you know, uh, input from the side with Busty and, and Lou and, and Mags was, you know, looking and, and trying to probe and, and find solutions. Um, but that's what we've got with this group. And they're so receptive and honest, they're just... Honestly, it's a never, never give up, never die attitude. And it's just a, a privilege to work with that group. Yeah, and in the second half, when you did get that, that first, did it feel like a bit of a, a spark that it wasn't at that point that you know you could just go on and, and get another and draw, but that you were going for all three points at that point? It was always that feeling. It was always, I mean, straight from the, uh, the second half, we were probing, we were looking, we, were, um, we felt as though we controlled the game. Um, we knew we had to be careful on the counter-attack because we were camped in their half, they were on the 80 odd box and it's really difficult when you're trying to break a low block down but um, we did it really well and we missed a couple of opportunities early on but like I say the lads, lads never give up and we're always on that front foot and half a yard, the players we've got, um, we, we capitalised and like I say 2-0 down, ev everyone had belief. Um, it was just like I say the pitch was difficult for us. Um, we didn't have the rub of the green in the first half, especially with the penalty, um, but we have to create that ourselves. And they, well, we did that, we did the second half through just sheer diligence, um, hard work, and we, we managed to turn it and we've got that quality to, to finish the chances off when they come. And you mentioned it being a, a bit of an a, emotional afternoon, both in the stands and kind of on the pitch, obviously, so at the final whistle, you can see a, a few of the lads getting quite amped up at the end, obviously yourself getting involved a bit as well. But I mean, I suppose at the end of the day, sort of feelings and, and sort of moments like that, why people kind of get into the game? Of course, yeah, it's, it's a long, it's been a long season. It's been, like I say, the amount of training sessions spanning back from pre-season on the track. Um, there's been a lot put into it and we have to keep our focus. Like I say, we, after the game, we, we put it all into context, just three points. We had 30 seconds of enjoying it, of jumping around, but we've got a real tough game next week. And uh, um, a very experienced manager that's you know, had a, a big impact um, on, on Kettering. And we've got to be focused because uh, it's, it's a relentless um, campaign.